Flipping homes can be a great way to make some fast cash, but it's not for the faint of heart. Repairs can end up costing thousands more than expected, and home prices can quickly take a turn for the worse. Even in the best of circumstances, it's a big gamble. Today on Ready, Set, Renovate, we meet a young couple who puts their luck to the test. real estate appraiser Zach Mitchell decided to join his friends for a fun weekend in Las Vegas. He didn't expect to meet Jenny Cunningham. I'm from a tiny little town called Mullingar in Ireland and I was in college for finance which I despised but I was doing it because you know you have to pick something in college and then for my 21st birthday I was like let's go to Vegas and then I met Zach and here we are. Did you think you'd be together five years later? No. No. Definitely not. <laughs> a year after she met Zach, Jenny moved to the U.S. It seems she and her horse Bingo might have brought the luck of the Irish with them. When the couple launched their business a few years ago, they began flipping houses and have made a profit on every one. I know what makes this work. It's because we're totally different. Like he's so reserved and doesn't want to make like quick decisions. And sometimes in real estate, you have to make like these quick decisions. Whereas I'm more like, let's go, go, go. And he's more like, no, no, no. So we meet in the middle. And it actually yeah. works great. I like that. I have to rein her in a lot. Yeah, and I have to push you. Yeah. I'm like, go, buy the house. And that's really true. it. Their next project is this 1,200 square foot home built in 1980. They purchased it for $90,000 and have comparable sale prices in the $150,000 range. This one actually came as a lead on our website. Um, and he's an out-of-state seller. It was actually the son of the, of the owner. Um, I think his dad ended up retiring up to be closer to the family. Um, so he needed a, an easy exit. He couldn't be down here worrying about selling the property. Um, so he called us and asked, you know, if we could pay the number that he was looking for. I, I told, we came out and looked at it, said, you know, we can do that. If they're able to stay within their ten dollars to $15,000 renovation budget, this flip could be a huge win. One of the bigger expenses will be all new flooring. This, this is one of those mystery floors. I've never seen one like yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? It's tile. Um, yeah. Again, I wanted to keep it, but. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you literally walked in here and was like, Perfect. Oh, this is great. <laughs> nice top floor. And I was like, no, 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 no. We're going in completely wrong direction here. <laughs> You're actually going to lay flooring on top of this, which for viewers at home, it can save a lot of money yeah, if absolutely. it's okay to do that. Saves a lot of money on demo and uh, like, you know, a lot of the floors, you got to get the concrete perfect so that you don't have any bumps or anything like that. Right. With this, you just do a, an underlayment and then right on top of that. And it's a, it's a thinner product, so you don't worry about transitions into the bedrooms where the carpet is and everything. Mm -hmm. um, it's a vinyl plank, so you can go in wet areas, and it looks like brand new wood flooring. Really good. As usual, there was a bit of debate over how to handle the kitchen. I thought, ooh, let's keep this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was not happy about keeping it. Honestly, when you do the kitchen, it makes the biggest difference in the house. Yeah. Like you walk in and everyone just gets so excited. And then when you do a proper design, it just makes people happy. So I have yeah. to do it. We're doing the nice shaker white cabinets, keep it bright. And then I want to do the quartz countertops. That's um, the marble look. It's actually not that expensive. So, and then I want to do the hexagon. Um, backsplash. I didn't realize we were doing a backsplash. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we are. And like, it's not even a big space, so it's not even gonna be like that expensive, and it's gonna look really good. We're gonna replace the dishwasher. I don't wanna keep the stove, obviously. I wanna put in a I nice do. stainless steel stove. <laughs> and then obviously the refrigerator. Everything's literally going. It's gonna be brand new. Yeah, it's gonna the look walls, really good. Uh, pretty much all that stain. Um, It'll look completely different. They'll spend about $6,000 giving the kitchen a complete overhaul and use the remaining budget on upgrades throughout the rest of the house. Floors are going to be the next uh, biggest expense and then probably paint and yeah. then... Um, doors. Yeah, the doors and... Light fixtures. Vanities. It's everything cosmetic, so yeah. pretty much everything visual. We're not doing... The plumbing was done um, just a couple of years ago. All the major components, AC is good. Uh, I think the roof is eight to ten years old, so that's good as well. So it's really just everything you see visually. In the home's two bathrooms, they'll update the main components, but save money by glazing the old tile. We'll do a new vanity. Yeah. Uh, 
new faucet. Uh, are we replacing the mirror? Yeah, let's do a new mirror. That's what yeah, it's a new fixture. Yeah. Same floors will come in. Yeah, final. And then what? I think we have some caulking and a little bit of grout work, and then we'll get it reglazed. And new fixture. New fixture. Just not fine. Right. Everything new. Everything's new. Perfect. Outside, they'll remove the hurricane shutters to let more light into the house. Hurricane shutters that will be coming out, they've become just wasps nests. They've been uh, up there for a while, yeah. it looks yeah. like, yeah. yeah. They've decided to leave the lawn as is, since it's large and resodding would push them way over budget. They'll fertilize and trim what's here and hopefully have a little money left to add some colorful flowers. With the goal of completing the renovation in just 10 days, there's no time to waste. Zach and his construction team dig into the kitchen demo, removing the cabinets and countertops with no trouble. But when all the appliances are out, they realize their progress is on hold. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. You got a nasty surprise behind that dishwasher. Yeah, uh, to be expected, um, but there was some mold back there. There must have been a leak in the past, and you know, obviously behind the cabinets wasn't really visible until we took those out. Hey everybody, we're here again today with Tag Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates and this is what you call an active job site. Your guys got the ladder set up and this is the window that's coming out. Yeah, absolutely. We're getting ready to take this window out. It's an aluminum window that the family wanted to change out and we're going to make a great uh, transition here in the home today. This is an aluminum window and it's original to this townhouse community, so probably a good 30 years old at this point. And you can actually just feel how flimsy the single pane glass is and the aluminum that surrounds it. Yeah, there were a couple different reasons why this family wanted to change out the window. One is security. It doesn't provide any security with this single pane glass. Also, with the western exposure, they get the direct heat. So in the summertime, it gets really uncomfortable in this space, so they wanted to provide more energy efficiency for the room. Right, and as is oftentimes the case in communities like this, there are some stipulations as to what they can actually put in here as a replacement window. It has to match the rest of the community. Right, exactly. We have a dedicated uh, department of our company to handle all associations throughout Florida, so we know exactly the type of products that we can uh, suggest to the homeowners to exactly fit what the requirements are going to be for the association. So we went with a uh, bronze vinyl window, which is going to give them the energy efficiency as opposed to the aluminum frame. It's bronze to the exterior to meet the association requirements, but it also has a white interior so it brightens up the space for the room. Yeah, so you guys were here with the sun up basically this morning. How long will it take them to get this window out and the new one in? It won't take much time at all. We should have this removed and uh, the new one in place within the, within the hour. And then the homeowner will have the security of knowing they probably never have to mess with this window again. Well, they'll never have to mess with this window. It's fully guaranteed lifetime, so if there is ever a problem, the manufacturer sends us out a brand new one and we replace it at no charge. All right. Thanks so much. Tat Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates. At Farrah and Farrah, when we take your personal injury case, we never forget. It's about the money, your money, to get your life back on track. Your boss thinks you're the best, his rock star sales rep, heir to his throne. But if you can't upload that massive presentation in time for his big meeting because you have cable, ah! just remember, you're not a bad employee. Anybody got a joke? You just need better internet. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience with 20 times faster upload speeds than cable. Switch to 1 gig internet for $89.98 a month per year when bundled with AT&T TV. Limited availability in select areas. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. I was sworn into the United States Senate in a hospital. My wife and daughter had been killed in an automobile crash. And lying in the bed were my two little boys. I couldn't have imagined what it would have been like if I didn't have insurance that covered them immediately and fully. 40 years later, one of those little boys, my son Bo, was diagnosed with terminal cancer, given months to live. I can't fathom what would have happened if the insurance companies had the power to say, last few months, you're on your own. The fact of the matter is, healthcare is personal to me. Obamacare is personal to me. When I see the President of the United States try to eliminate this health care in the middle of a public health crisis, that's personal to me too. We've got to build on what we did 
because every American deserves affordable health care. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Jacksonville, you voted. Now it's time to check out all the winners of Jack's Best. Head to newsforjacks.com slash jacksbest to see who you picked as the best in every category. Presented by Visit Jacksonville. Save the sea turtles, Monday on The Morning Show. When our house flippers bought this outdated single-family home, they decided to renovate it and get it back on the market as quickly as possible. It was like a, a full house when we, when we bought it, uh, so we had all that donated to different charities, and uh, now we're, we have a clean slate. We bought it for around 90, and um, we're going to be putting in, let's say, 15-ish. Yeah. Um, and originally we thought we were going to be in the mid-hundreds based on the comparable properties around. Um, one couple of doors down just went up for sale after we closed, um, I think for 178 and I think they got a couple um, over-ask offers, so that was good news for us. With hopes of capitalizing on those soaring sale prices, the team makes fast work of the kitchen demo. Unfortunately, they have to hit the brakes early in the day. You got a nasty surprise behind that dishwasher. Yeah, uh, to be expected, um, but there was some mold back there. There must have been a leak in the past. The moment they saw it, they just cut it out. I mean, within, you know, five minutes after they saw it, it was mm -hmm. gone and a new piece was up same day. The drywall fix added a couple hundred dollars to an already tight budget and made the next decision even tougher. The original plan was to leave the soffits and install cabinets that would fit in the existing space. But general contractor Ruben Gutierrez thinks that's the wrong move and encourages Zach to spend a bit more to raise the ceiling. More, more modern with the taller cabinets. After some deliberating, budget conscious Zach gives Jenny some news she isn't expecting. We're gonna go ahead and raise the ceilings. So we get the 36 inch height with the crown. <laughs> Surprise. Thankfully, the bedrooms don't serve up any tough choices. Each of the three bedrooms will get new carpet and a fresh coat of paint. The entire house will get new doors, including the front door, which has some damage around the framing and won't close properly. The bathrooms are a bit more involved. While the tile surround is in great shape, it will require a refresh to match the new vanities, flooring, and countertops. After Jenny and Zach had already decided they would save money by reglazing the tiles instead of replacing them, Zach pushes his luck by trying to talk Jenny into salvaging the toilets. So we can't keep the toilet, right? <laughs> no, we're definitely replacing the toilet. It's okay. $100. I think it's a good idea. I do like the countertops, but... We're gonna have to go. Yeah, we can't so we'll, keep cheap in this back. I think we have a good job. I think we have a vanity just the size uh, from another house that we can put in. Right. Okay. That's a good idea. One budget friendly plan they easily agree on is laying the new vinyl flooring on top of the existing tile. That will eliminate the cost of demo, and without the added mess in time, the install will only take half a day. Well, these are looking good. Yeah, especially going into that direction like you wanted it, give it more. Yeah, I thought with it. the longer run, it might look better. And then in the kitchen, too. It's going to run into the kitchen. Coming this way. And then also, I was even thinking in the bathroom, that will run parallel to the bathtub. To the bathtub, so this way is a nice, clean look. Yeah, gotcha. So. It's going to look nice. First time we've used this product. Yep. The team starts with an underlayment that will help prevent the grout lines and imperfections from showing through the wood look planks. At just two bucks a square foot, the materials will cost them less than $1,000. <laughs> Back in the kitchen, the soffits are out, the drywall is finished, and it's time to finalize the layout. Glad we raised it up. Yeah, it gives more space for the cabinetry because it's a small kitchen. We also gave it a dead corner cabinet up on top, so this way you can have some space to install you know, nice. more food. Uh, we'll help put the crown moldings up there, give it a nice It'll go flush fresh to the ceiling. And yes, so basically everything will be set up. Fridge, range, and microwave. Perfect. And dishwasher right will be on the, the sink. right side of the sink. Nice. Yes. I like it. It's going to look good. With the vinyl flooring and cabinet install expected to wrap by the end of the day, the rest of the work won't take much longer. We're basically just finishing up with quarter rounds around the floors, touching up whatever needs to be touched up. It's just basically pressure washing the exterior of it, um, fixing some of the screens that was broken. So today will be a pretty much a finished project on my part. And then tomorrow we'll have some carpeting and hopefully the courts will be put on. 
in the bathroom. It's music to Zach's ears, as he knows finishing up and getting a property listed before there's a change in the real estate climate is important to the bottom line. Do you think you're hitting the market at the right time? If you're talking a couple weeks here yes. with the renovation? Yeah, uh, late spring, uh, early summer is supposed to be like the best time to, to sell a house because kids are starting to go into the summer breaks and parents are you know, looking at houses and know they have time to move before the school year starts. Mm -hmm. um, you get into August, September, and it's not a big shift, but um, you definitely have a lot of buyers that you okay. know, will slow down looking. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate. I gotta tell you though, if I'm perfectly honest here, when you guys said you were gonna have this done in 10 days, I was thinking to myself, I don't think so. We were too. <laughs> <laughs> when faced with Hurricane Michael, one product stood strong. Our windows helped that house survive by withstanding an impact. The testing protocol calls for the product to be impacted by some form of windborne debris, flying debris. Then it has to get cycled with negative and positive pressure 4,500 times one way, 4,500 times the other way. And then the window still has to operate after that. Our windows were hit by windborne debris. The glass cracked, but the windows still operated. They did what they were supposed to do and protected the home. To learn more about custom window systems, visit cws.cc. When you shop mattresses at Haverty's, you'll get up to $500 off Tempur-Pedic adjustable base sets with 0% interest and a free gift worth up to $300. So put your mattress search to bed early, right now at Haverty's. We've won over a billion dollars for our clients over the years, but we don't think about that. Bill Belichick once said, to live in the past is to die in the present. What matters is what we can do for you right now. So call us, Farrah and Farrah. Why O Cedar? Because when I get home, we like to play crocodile on the floor. O Cedar Easy Ring removes over 99% of bacteria, even with just water, and rings with the press of a pedal. Easy Ring. Easy and truly clean floors. Try it. You'll see. Also discover the O Cedar Pro Mist Max for the fastest everyday clean. O Cedar. It feels great to feel at home. In times of instability and disarray, look to the first responders. In times of anxiety and doubt, look to your first informers on The Morning Show. Your complete resource for what you need to know right now and what to expect in the day ahead. The country can safely reopen schools later today. Real local people reassuring you with information you can act on, helping you take care of yourself and your family. What kind of DIY face covering offers the best protection? The Morning Show on Channel 4, the local station. So you ready to get this house going? Yes, very demo's, excited. Demo's almost done. I know, it's so fast and it's gonna look so good. With 20 successful house flips under their belts, Zach and Jenny are racing to get their current project renovated and listed before a revved up real estate market takes a wrong turn. And the market's good right now? Market's amazing. We're trying to get as many in as possible for yeah. the next crash. Yeah. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't anticipate a crash. An adjustment of some sort has to come because things have just been going up so fast. Um, but how much is the question? Right. So. Just ride the wave. All yeah. Riding the going. wave. <laughs> and then adjust and ride the downward wave and then adjust again and ride the upward wave. To maximize their profit while the market is up, Zach and Jenny decided to add a nice design detail in the kitchen. They were originally going to leave the soffits and install smaller cabinets, but they ended up leveling the ceiling and taking the white shaker style all the way up. It adds storage and makes the room feel larger, something buyers will pay a premium for. But with the added cost in the kitchen, there isn't much left in the budget for landscaping. Jenny. We both loved this cactus, what happened? I know, I actually really love the cactus, but the shutters over here when they took them off, yeah, fell straight to the ground. Oh it no. It was like tied into it and then now it's in a million pieces. That, that's too bad because it was, it was a very full grown. I mean, it was a, taller than the house and it had the nice red blossoms yeah. on it. It was really pretty. It was the only thing that was looking good at the front of this house. So. Oh, geez. All right. Well, that cactus is out yeah. of the picture, I it's guess. Gone. What are you going to do? Because this is pretty stark here yeah, in the front. It, it's very dead. So we're going to do a little flower bed across the front with some color, some plants. Over here, a little tree, a bit of mulch. It's a great yard. It's a huge front yard. The house is set back quite a yeah. ways from the road. And then there's a big backyard. Huge backyard, yeah. So whoever buys this home can kind of come in and personalize yeah. it. As the team finishes up the texturizing in the garage, Zach checks out the interior paint, 
making sure everything will look its best on open house day. With just some touch-ups before the photographer takes the listing pictures, this flip is nearing the finish line. I gotta tell you though, if I'm perfectly honest here, when you guys said you were gonna have this done in 10 days, I was thinking to myself, I don't think so. We were too. <laughs> <laughs> it was just over, I think it was about two weeks and we had uh, some things that kind of flowed past like cleaning and photographs and all that. So it really was like right around 10 days though for the bulk of the work. The bulk of it, yeah. That's incredible. So it was um, a very tight timeline and a tight budget too. Yeah. It was crucial that you didn't sort of out renovate yourself on this right. house so you could get the kind of profit that you wanted. So sure. what did you guys end up spending? Uh, I think we were right at 20,000, but it was mostly cosmetic here. There was actually like no major components. We didn't do a roof, AC, plumbing was already redone, no electrical work. Um, so we had a really good you know, house to start with. Coming up next on Ready, Set, Renovate, it's open house day and Zach and Jenny's makeover gets great reviews. Put your dresser and television on this wall and then you get access to the, to the porch in the backyard from the bedroom. Beautiful. But could a money saving measure freeze them out of a top dollar sale price? Pretty much all new in here. You got yeah. uh, new cabinets. Whoa. No refrigerator? Uh, Impact windows from FHIA Remodeling protect against hurricane force winds and flying debris. Call Central Florida's trusted local source for impact windows and never put up shutters again. Act now. It's our window blowout sale. Call right now and we'll double your savings from $500 to $1,000 on a house full of new windows. Ask about 120-month financing and double your gift to a $100 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. A great challenge still lies before us, Florida. And as we try to understand this new normal, we must remember, things aren't normal. Not yet. So let's all keep doing our part to stay healthy until it is. We are One Florida. And Florida Blue remains committed to the one place we've ever called home. Tonight, see Top Chefs create miracles. It's a nightmare. From Leftovers. I would eat this all day. Fridge Wars. New series tonight at 8, 7 central. God's back. <laughs> and he's going to murder the world. All good things must come to an end. Any blood suckers in here? <laughs> Woo! That's gotta be a record. Ding! Blood suckers. And let's analyze the chemicals in this cigarette smoke. Cadmium? Check. Formaldehyde? Check. Arsenic? Sir, isn't arsenic what they used in rat poison? No. Isn't arsenic what they used in rat poison? Oh, what was I thinking, sir? It's not like we're going to smoke them. Neither will the rats. Tobacco is no joke. It's so toxic they need you to replace dying customers. Learn more at thefactsnow.com. A smile has the power to get you feeling all right. At Aspen Dental, we're making every day a little brighter with our Smile Wide, Smile Safe promise. We've got you covered in every way, giving deep cleaning a whole new meaning. And if you don't have insurance, we'll give you an extra safety net too with a free new patient exam and x-rays. At Aspen Dental, we're making it all right to feel safe and get smiling. We promise. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. When house flippers Zach and Jenny started renovating this rundown ranch style home, they gave themselves a 10 day timeline and a budget of 10 to $15,000. They've just wrapped up the last of the work and it's time to see if they've played their cards right. It's just been a couple of weeks and are you a little nervous? I mean, it's done, you did it quickly, but now it's time to put it on the market, right? Yeah, there was a house on the street actually that was, uh, that went pending right away and then I saw it come back in the market. So now we are gonna be competing with them for buyers um, right at the same price point. So um, that wasn't the best thing to see, but it, it went so quickly, we feel that there's a lot of potential out there. We're gonna be listing it for 179. Wow. So yeah, we, we didn't think we'd get that initially. When we first looked at our comps when we were buying it, we were thinking like actually just a little bit of rehab and go on at like 130 or something. Uh, we decided to do everything and then we looked at the comps again and this one came up on the street. 
at a higher price point than we thought we could get, and they weren't remodeled. So we were like, oh, well, we'll ask that and see what happens. Okay, Jenny, what do you think? You were kind of in charge of the budget this time around. Are you gonna be happy with that? Yeah. No, if we got, I'm, if, I think we'll get close to this, because it's special. Okay. It's not like your normal average house out, especially in this market and this okay. price range, and I think people yeah. appreciate it. Okay, all right. Period. So you guys are ready to list it. You just gotta take the pictures and put it on the market. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All right, good luck. Ready. Hi there. Hello. Welcome to the open house. I'm Zach. Thank you. Hi, I'm Scott. Good to meet you. Thank you. Uh, so we just finished a full remodel here. Um, got new floors, new kitchen, new Beautiful. bathrooms, new paint, uh, fully clean and ready to go. So I'll Man. show you around. Yes, please. Great. This Start is in the back here. We can work our way. Beautiful. Up front. So we got new vinyl floors. Um, these are waterproof, wow. and so they've carried through the bathrooms and the kitchen and everything. It really looks like wood. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll show mm. you the kitchen here. Oh, I love it. Nice. So, uh, pretty much all new in here. You got yeah. uh, new cabinets. Whoa. No refrigerator? Uh, yeah, we were going to leave that one up to a buyer like yourself to decide uh, you know, if you want to bring your own, or we could potentially put one in if that uh, needed to be part of the deal. Okay, yeah, I think it'd be pretty important for my wife. Okay, good to know. But uh, new cabinets, new countertops, um, again, stainless steel appliances. I like appliances. this backsplash, is that yeah. what you call it? Yeah, yeah. So is this the master in here? This is the master, yep. On the other side of the house and the other bedrooms, which is nice. And then you got I'd a like full that. bath over there. Yeah. And then uh, walk-in closet oh. and, uh, you know, good-sized bedrooms, so nice king bed in here. Um, your dresser and television on this wall and then you get access to the to the porch in the backyard from the bedroom beautiful yard i mean huge yard and it's great I like, size. I like the landscape coming up nice and colorful and yeah uh, very good curb appeal and uh good good size yeah I mean, this is this is just area. right for my family great well i'm glad you like it so uh what are you asking uh 179 and does it 179 include a refrigerator? Uh, we can make that work, yeah. Okay. All right. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Well, I'll go talk to my wife. And good deal. See what we can come up with. You have some good news. I do. Yeah, we got a uh, got a contract pretty quickly. So we listed on a Friday. Um, had I think three showings over the weekend, and one of them wrote a contract Sunday night. So yeah. It Are was, you kidding me? It was quick. Over asking price too. So I think they uh, they really liked it. The realtor said they looked at about four or five houses that day, and this one stood out. So they didn't want to lose it and uh, put in a strong offer. So they did ask for a fridge, uh, well, which we were glad to give them. If you're getting over asked, you can afford it, right? Absolutely, yeah. So let's break down the financials. You guys had 85 to 90 invested in it. You had purchase, some, yeah. right closing costs when you bought it. Exactly. Right? And then we put about 20, just over 20 into the rehab, um, which again was double our initial budget, but we asked a lot more than we anticipated um, as well. So we sold it for, uh, the contract's for 185000 so, Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a great, great deal. And your profit with all the expenses subtracted out is going to be? I think right around 65. So yeah. Congratulations, Appreciate man. It. That is awesome. Our investors are happy. We're happy. So. I Things bet. are good. On to the next, huh? On to the next.